everybody. Hi guys. So I've been face to camera with you guys an awful lot. And before I start today's video, which is going to be different as you can tell from the title, I wanted to thank Mira Fertility for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to insert a little bit about their product right here. And I just want to share my story because September is PCOS Awareness Month. Let's hear a little bit from Mira. I want to tell you a little bit about Mira, and it's something that I use to keep track of my hormones, even though I am done having kids of my own. Mira is the first and only comprehensive at home testing device that allows women to track major women's hormones and plotting continuous curves to predict ovulation. If you're somebody like me who has PCOS, ovulation can be something that can be a bit of a challenge, and especially tracking that ovulation, that can can be really hard. Again, I don't talk a lot about like trying to conceive or my journey with my kids and that kind of thing on my channel because we mostly talk about planning and that kind of thing. But if you are planning and you're trying to have a baby, trying to figure out when you're ovulating is something that is super important. This is the Mira Fertility Monitor. And when you order it, it'll come in two different boxes. So it'll come in this box, and then there's a box with all of your other things. So inside this box is your actual fertility monitor. You take your sticks, let me show you one of them, one second. So they come pre-sealed like this. You also get to these handy dandy little cups so that you can do your business and you dip this in your business and then you insert it into the monitor. So it's super easy and it's a great way to really try to keep track of your hormones and it is, it is it's just a great value for the product that you're getting. I've been using it for the past week even though I'm not necessarily trying to conceive right now and I love it. I feel like it's so accurate and it works really well for my body. I just wanted to thank Mira for sponsoring today's video. I will leave links to all of their socials down below, as well as a code for you guys to use when you're checking out their product. Let me know down in the comments below if you are interested in trying out their, in their product and if you are somebody who also struggles with PCOS because PCOS can be something that we struggle with silently. I wanted to share this PCOS Q&A because September is PCOS Awareness Month, so I'm really excited to share this with all of you. So Mira asked me a few questions about my PCOS journey. So the first question is, how did I find out about my PCOS diagnosis? And that is kind of an interesting story. So I have always been an athlete. I've always been busy and moving and all of that, but I was having some strange symptoms. I was holding on to what I considered to be water weight at the time. I was only about 14. I was also feeling really lethargic and I was concerned that I was having a health issue that would prevent me from being athletic and being the continued athlete that I loved. So at my yearly sports physical, I think it was my sophomore year, so I was 14 turning 15, or I had just turned 15, one, somewhere around there. I talked to my doctor and I asked her and I told her about these symptoms. I had a great relationship with my doctor at the time, and because I was entering young adult womanhood, I was referred to an OBGYN. And so I met with this OB and she did some testing and there are a few qualifiers. I will leave some links down below in case you're interested or curious. If you might be somebody who struggles with PCOS and not know it, but I'll leave a couple of links down below so you can take a look and kind of, you know, check out your symptoms and see if you need to chat with a healthcare provider. So I'll leave that stuff linked down below. But for me, we found enough qualifiers that I was clinically diagnosed with PCOS. One of those was that even at 14, my doctor could see already that cysts were forming on my ovaries. So we talked about it. She shared with me that it could be really difficult for me to have children in the future, which broke my heart because I always knew that in my heart it was meant to be a mother. I'll insert a picture of my, <laughs> like spoiler alert, of my two little sweet babes. I am so thrilled that I was able to overcome PCOS and become a mother twice over. I know that it's not always that easy of a road for others. So I did just want to put this out there and have everybody kind of support my fellow sisters in 
this PCOS Awareness Month. So for me, the most frustrating part of my PCOS diagnosis was the um, painful period symptoms that came along with, with having PCOS. So I knew the minute that I started ovulating, I knew the minute that I was going to have my period because everything for me is so much more painful. I can tell months when I have lots of cysts hanging out in my ovaries and months when maybe my ovaries are a bit more clear and I'm ovulating a bit more normally. So I can tell month to month what is going on in my body, which is great. I love that I'm that in tune with my body, but it is very painful. So that has been the most frustrating part of my PCOS diagnosis. Also, as I've gotten older, I've noticed that I have increased symptoms, which I hear is very common. I had both of my children when I was relatively young. So I had my daughter when I was 21 and I had my son when I was 29. I know lots of women who have PCOS who have waited longer in their try and conceive journeys um, or longer in their lives to try to conceive and it can be more difficult. But I've noticed increased symptoms like increased facial hair, which is not great. <laughs> As I've gotten older, inability to lose weight quickly, even if I'm eating a relatively healthy diet and exercising often, and just overall some other like hormonal things that I have noticed. So that has just been one of the biggest struggles for me as I've gotten older. And then always, just always, like the painful period symptoms has just been frustrating and really hard for me to kind of overcome. And it becomes like a mental thing. Like it becomes just really hard mentally to every month know that you're gonna be in excruciating pain for up to a week. So the next question is what helped you get pregnant with PCOS? And so for me, the first time when I got pregnant with my daughter, it was, it was a bit of a surprise and I was very young. A lot of people with PCOS have irregular cycles and that has not always been my story. In fact, that's basically never been my story. I feel like I have always ovulated pretty normally and I have always had a cycle on a regular schedule. Now my cycles are pretty long. A normal cycle for me is anywhere between 30 to 32 days. So that is another indicator that I suffer with PCOS. So uh, when I got pregnant with my daughter, there was no trying involved. But what helped me to overcome a PCOS and get pregnant with my son at a little bit older age at 29 was eating a low sugar, higher protein diet. And that is not something that works for everyone, but it really worked for me. And I noticed that when I'm eating like that on a more of a regular basis, I have fewer PCOS symptoms. So over Overall, it's just kind of like a way of life that I try really hard to stick to. And that's just something that really works for me and it helps me to ovulate normally and to have sort of those balanced hormones when I am trying to conceive. So eating higher protein and lower carb diets definitely help me. And again, don't try any of these things until you consult with your doctor. This is just me as a person <laughs> talking to you about an experience that I had in my life. This is not me making any kind of health recommendation for you. I've also taken some herbal remedies and I will put some links down below to those that have really helped me. I try really hard to limit the number of medications that I'm taking and number of chemicals that I'm putting into my body. So so there have been some herbs that have helped me. And then the third thing that really helped me to get pregnant with my son was to be aware of what my body was trying to tell me. So when I was trying to get pregnant with my son, I learned all about my body. I learned when I was ovulating, what it meant for me when I was ovulating. I learned, you know, the cycle length for me. I really started tracking my periods and that kind of thing. And uh, some ovulation sticks worked for me and other ones didn't. So there are some that are specifically for women with PCOS and some that, um, that just really didn't work for me. And some of the more popular brands just didn't work for me. They gave me false positives. They gave me false negatives when I was actually ovulating, but there are a few that worked for me. And I've heard rave, rave reviews about the Mira kit and how that helps to predict ovulation. So again, make sure that you check them out if you are trying to conceive or even just trying to learn about, you know, how your body works, whether you're trying to conceive or whether you are naturally trying to prevent pregnancy. And then my last tip is to ask for help when you need it. 
I was starting to get discouraged. We only had to try for about four months with my son, which is basically no time in the infertility community. And I know that I've seen so many other PCOS mamas try for years and years and go through miscarriages and just so much pain. We did have a, a loss in between, you know, trying for Harrison and actually getting him. So that was really painful and just devastating for us. So I would say that if you feel like you need more support, whether that's asking for help from a medical professional or asking for help from your family, whether you just need to confide in them or talk or even seeking therapy for yourself during your trying to conceive time is shortly after your PCOS diagnosis, I would say don't be afraid to ask for help and advocate for yourself to, to do what you need to do for your body. That is, that's kind of, those are my tips for trying to get pregnant with PCOS. And I talked about this a little bit, but I really think that the Mira Fertility Kit is something that's great for helping to figure out what's going on with your body. Because a lot of times before people are trying to have a baby or have thought about having a baby, our mindset has been about like preventing pregnancy or like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready for a child yet, that kind of thing. And switching your mindset to, okay, I'm ready to try for a baby. We don't always necessarily know how our body works. The Mira Fertility Monitor is something that can really help you to get in touch with your body and learn those things about kind of what's going on inside your body. This isn't my normal style video. You guys know that I like to sit down and play in my planner, but I do make myself fertility trackers and I do keep track of my cycle on my monthly calendars and that kind of thing as I go through my planner. So you guys know that you can do all the things. If you guys are interested in seeing any videos about how I track ovulation or how I track, you know, figuring out what is going on in my body, because I do still track my ovulation, I prefer to kind of know what's going on with my body still, kind of see where my cycle is coming. Everybody likes to know when their period is about to show up. So that's kind of what I like to do. Even now that I'm not trying for a child, I still like to really be in tune with my body and know kind of what's going on. So I wanted to thank Mira Fertility Monitor and Mira Fertility for sponsoring today's video. You can see a little bit more about them over on their Instagram, which I will link down below and their website if you would like to purchase one of their fertility monitors. And thank you again so much for partnering with me on this video. And I am so, so thrilled to be taking part in this project, chatting, <laughs> chatting with all of you about my PCOS journey. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below. If you are one of my current followers, thank you so much for all of your love and support. And if you would like to, you can hit that red subscribe button down below. And by the way, you guys, have fun today.